Excited to have you on board for the Finance Report. I'm Mallory Hoff. Over the next half hour, we'll help empower retirees and explain how to take the complicated process of retirement and simplify it. Joining us now are Mark Dillon and David Linsky. The father-son team are with L3 Family Wealth Partners, a West Palm firm that focuses on preparing people for a successful retirement. They're also popular radio show hosts. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Mark, I wanna start with you. I wanna talk about this magic number theory. I think there are a lot of pre-retirees who are under the impression and have been for some time now that $1 million is the right amount to save for a successful retirement, correct or no? Well, let me begin by saying thank you so much for having us. My sons and I are just so excited to be here today. Absolutely. To answer your question directly, I don't really believe in a magic number. Yeah. Magic by definition is really an illusion. The facts are that each client is unique and different. Okay. And what we need to do is we need to line up their numbers. We look at their income and we look at their expenses. That's when the planning process begins. You guys agree? Yeah, and truthfully, clients' expenses vary. Okay. So logically, their income's gonna vary as well. Right, so someone with more expenses is gonna need more income. And also something to consider is some people have children, grandchildren, sure. so it's important to make sure you have a proper legacy plan put in place and also consider long-term care options. Okay, so all of this being said, it sounds like there really is potential for future financial problems for those families or individuals who have been chasing what they thought was the magic number for retirement. Absolutely. I mean, think about just what happened in the first quarter of this year, 2022. Yeah. The market took a 25% hit. Well, if your re retirement portfolio is heavily invested in the stock market, you lost a significant amount of money. Yeah. If you don't have other income sources available, you can be in a lot of trouble. Sure. So why do you think then that so many people over the years have gravitated toward this magic number approach? Well, a lot of people, when they come into our office to get a second opinion, they actually just bring account statements, both monthly and quarterly, and they confuse that for a comprehensive financial plan. Okay. And really, it's not just based on a net asset value, but it's based on a lot of other factors, including income, lifestyle, legacy, and tax planning. So let's say you're someone who has been fixated and focused on that magic number for all these years. What can that person be doing? What changes can they make immediately? Well, first off, I would strongly recommend getting a second opinion. Yeah. Because that's not the way to go. Um, go out there, learn what's out in the marketplace, understand what your options are. And when you do make a decision to sit down and talk to somebody, in my professional opinion, make sure they're a certified financial planner. Sure, absolutely. So that being said, what do you believe is the correct path when it comes to planning for a truly successful retirement? The main thing is to firstly understand your expenses and the income you need to cover those expenses. Okay. Because the main thing clients want in retirement is to maintain their standard of living. Yeah, and you need a plan. You need a route to take that's gonna financially guide you to a successful retirement. And it's the advisor's responsibility not the clients. And I think there's a big misconception there. We are the ones that are responsible for organizing the numbers, committing them to writing, yeah. implementing the plan, and most importantly, monitoring the plan. When you do plan with this type of approach that you all are talking about today, what type of success have you seen people have? Tremendous success, especially when they're coming in thinking that all you need to do is achieve a magic number. Yeah then you really need to explain to them what the process is to guide them on the right route to a successful retirement, because it includes a lot more factors than that. You know, it's very funny because way back in the day, I'm aging myself now, but I was originally hired with a company called EF Hutton, okay. which I don't even know if you ever heard of. Them. Well, I think I know where you're going with this. Okay, so they used to say when EF Hutton talks, people listen. It was a big marketing campaign. But back then in the 80s and the 90s, the mindset was really, he who has the most toys at the end wins. Okay. Completely different today. There's yeah. been a major shift in the focus from net worth sure. or that number you're talking about, that magic number, to more of a guaranteed monthly income 
really for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. People just want to maintain that standard of living during retirement. Don't you guys agree? Definitely. Totally agree yeah, with that. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm going to circle back to your quote, and I'm going to say when you guys talk, I'm listening. Yeah. <laughs> so that being said, I'm going to say to be continued on this, because first, for you at home, if you want to learn more about getting both to and through retirement, L3 Family Wealth Partners has a great offer for you. Right now, for the first five callers with a portfolio of $500,000 or greater, they're offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. This will allow their team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. The number to call right now, 561-933-6877. Once again, that number, 561-933-6877. Talk about a double-edged sword. When it comes to your retirement and financial plan, it's your choice how your money is managed. And that can be both empowering and scary. All right, I wanna talk about how different it is when it comes to the do-it-yourselfers, okay, and managing your own money versus working with a team and creating that comprehensive retirement plan. Mark, let's start with you. Well, I think people have had a tremendous amount of success doing it themselves sure. over the past 10 years, and I think that's great. But when you're coming to retirement, I don't think you want to take the chance with those assets any longer. Think of it like this. If, God forbid, you had a pain in your chest, you wouldn't self-diagnose. No. If you had a toothache, you wouldn't drill your own cavity. It's the same thing with your retirement assets. You want to go to a professional. Look, in my opinion, except for your health, of course, your finances are the most important part of your retirement. So why take the chance in trying to do it yourself? And if you're going to seek out a professional, again, this is just one man's opinion, yeah. I would use a certified financial planner because they're held to a higher standard. And I think that makes a lot of sense. And listen, it's okay if you want to take a small portion of your portfolio and play around with it in yeah. the market, because that is fun, it is exciting, so long as all the essentials are taken care of and being monitored by a professional. All right, so let's talk market risk. As you just mentioned, we're exiting the longest bull market run in history. It is over. This is a different scenario that people find themselves in right now, especially if you're in or approaching retirement. What should we be considering when it comes to market risk when we are nearing retirement? That's actually a pretty easy fix. Mallory, there are products now that can actually buffer or protect against downside risk while still giving the client the ability to participate in the upside growth. On top of that, we believe on taking some chips off the table and focusing on a method more geared towards guaranteeing income for life. So that being said, I want you to paint me a picture. What can a big loss look like when you're in or nearing retirement? It can be absolutely devastating. If your future income source is in any way dependent on the value of your retirement assets and that value goes down, Mallory, what do you think happens to your income stream? Nothing good. Yeah, it's gonna go down too. <laughs> so that being said, I do wanna talk about, Mark, how income planning can really help when it comes to that dependence on Wall Street. Well, if you think about it, the less risk that you have in the market, the more income you can generate in other types of programs. So people are in the stock market because they need to take that risk. They wanna swing that bat. But we feel that with retirement assets specifically, we would rather go a more conservative route and give the client guaranteed monthly income for the rest of not only their lives, yeah. but for the lives of their spouses. Absolutely. The more income we generate, the less risk we need to assume. Correct. Absolutely. So that being said, taxes obviously so often overlooked. How can taxes impact our income needs? Well, that's all gonna start with a tax plan. And without a tax plan, it can be one of the biggest mistakes a person has while in retirement, Mallory. But with it, that can keep more money in that person's pocket so they can enjoy their retirement. All right, really important information as always with the three of you. We're gonna continue our conversation in just a moment. But first, for you at home, if you wanna learn more about putting together your plan for retirement, L3 Family Wealth Partners has a great offer for you. Right now, for the first five callers with a portfolio of $500,000 or greater, they're offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan 
just for you. This will allow their team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. The number to call right now, 561-933-6877. Once again, that number, 561-933-6877. What mistake can potentially cost someone or their family this much money? Well, first and foremost, we need to take a look at all the factors that need to be considered in a comprehensive financial plan. Okay. You need to look at income, lifestyle, legacy, and commonly overlooked tax planning. I mean, think about it. Every dollar that you pay in income tax is one less dollar that you have to spend on yourself, your loved ones, and your family in retirement. Now, with a proper tax management plan, someone can save potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of their retirement. Now, Mallory, I'm pretty sure that you can imagine a few different ways to use that extra money. Am I right? Absolutely. So let me ask you this, Mark. I think a lot of people are under the impression that this type of planning is really just for the wealthy. This is a strategy that matters for wealthy people. What does everyone need to be aware of? Well, the thing about it is that key provisions are set to expire for all taxpayers. Yeah. I think by the year 2025. Okay. So it's not just the 1%, it's for sure. people in lower tax brackets also. So if you're a retired person, let's say you're in the 12% tax bracket, you could expect up to a 25% increase over the next few years. How often do people think they have a comprehensive retirement plan, but in reality, you give it a good look over and it's missing something? It happens all the time. Yeah. When people come to our office for the first time, they oftentimes confuse their monthly and their quarterly statements for a comprehensive financial plan. And that's not their fault, yeah. it's their advisors. But we have to remember that a comprehensive financial plan needs to include income, lifestyle, legacy, and tax planning. If any of those four prongs are not included and thoroughly addressed, the plan is not complete. Yeah, I've often heard you guys say actually a statement is not a plan, right? Exactly. Definitely. <laughs> all right, so that being said, all right, venturing back to tax planning, why is tax planning so frequently overlooked? We've heard you say how much you stand to lose and how much you stand to save. I don't think people realize that taxes can be the single largest expense in retirement. Yeah. More than food, clothing, and health care combined. 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 And in my professional opinion, that expense is only going in one direction, and that's up. And when we remember, every time we take money out of our qualified plans, our 401ks, our IRAs, Caesar wants to get paid, right? <laughs> That's why the time to start yeah. planning, it's now. Yeah, absolutely. So all of that being said, I wanna talk about retirement outlook. If you do all of this correctly, you have the right plan in place, what can your outlook be for retirement? Well, the thing about it is, Mallory, it's not what you earn, yeah. it's what you keep. Yeah. So the more money that you keep, the more money that stays in your pocket, the more items you could check off on your bucket list. Yeah. And we found that bucket lists are different for everyone. We have clients that want to travel the world. We have clients that want to go on fishing trips. We have clients who just want to spend more time with their grandkids. Yeah. The bottom line is proper tax planning puts you in control, not Uncle Sam. I want you to kind of get into some stories for me for a moment because I, I've heard you guys talk a lot today and I, I think some of the scenarios you found yourselves in have been very interesting. I wanna talk about some of the folks who have spent years maybe working with somebody else and then they walk into your office, they think that they're in a good position relatively speaking and you realize very quickly they have spent years overlooking tax planning. Can you tell me a story in a situation that you found yourself in? Yeah, so we actually had a client come in, now a client, who didn't even know what their required minimum distribution was. Okay, they didn't know what an RMD did. They did not know what their RMD <laughs> was. <laughs> and they were paying too much in taxes. Okay. Now we have someone in our office that spends the entire portion of that year calling our clients to make sure that they know what their RMD is and what they should be taking out for their tax purposes. Wow. She basically disappears from Thanksgiving to New Year's <laughs> and says, don't bother yeah. me. But we call about 500 different clients that have IRA RMDs and we go over each one with yeah. each client to make sure they know exactly how much they need. And truthfully, sometimes they even need more. So that's a service that I don't think you get with the bigger firms. I wanna talk for a moment about generational wealth. Um, I've also heard you guys 
kind of discuss how important it is to you that when you're working with a family, the entire family is really involved in the conversation. Let's discuss that for a moment. Yeah, well, our firm is called Family Wealth Partners, yeah. and it's called that for a reason. Yeah. First off, we're family, of course, and there's also Molly, my wife, who runs the office. But more importantly than that, we deal with the client and their family. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times clients have introduced Dylan and David to their children, yeah. even their grandchildren. So it's a family affair on both sides. And we sit around the table in our conference room with the parents, the children, yeah. the grandchildren, sometimes even the great grandparents. And we do our full planning. Dylan is very, very strong on legacy planning. Yeah. And without having everyone in the room together and everyone on the same page, it doesn't work. And that's why we encourage it so much. And tax planning is really important for that as well, because sure. I know we've been discussing a lot about how important it is to plan for taxes when it comes to generating income in yeah. retirement. But there's also really tax effective tools to make sure that your assets and your net worth are being passed down to your beneficiaries in a tax efficient way as well. Always wonderful insight and guidance from all three of you. We're gonna continue our conversation in just a moment, but first, the time to act really is now. For you at home, if you wanna learn more about having the right plan for your retirement, L3 Family Wealth Partners has a great offer for you. Right now, for the first five callers with a portfolio of $500,000 or greater, they're offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. This will allow their team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. The number to call right now, 561-933-6877. Once again, that number, 561-933-6877. As you get ready for retirement, it's important to ask the right questions to make sure you're as prepared as possible. David, let's talk about the questions that people really should be asking when they walk into your office for the first time, for example, when it comes to building that comprehensive plan. Well, firstly, obviously, L3 Family Wealth Partner stands for Linsky, Linsky, and Linsky. More importantly... <laughs> All in the family. Of, of course. But more importantly, it stands for Life, Longevity, and legacy. Depending on which one of those L's is going to be most important to that client, that tells us the basis for the questions they should be asking. Yeah. For example, we have some clients, right, that want to see their last check bounce when they get to the funeral home. Okay, that's one approach. <laughs> exactly. We also have clients that want to make sure that they pass as much wealth down to their future generations as possible, and we see everything in between. Okay, absolutely. So with all of that in mind, Mark, how often do you find that people are in a standard retirement plan, not something that has been tailor-made for them? I think we see it most when people come into our office in West Palm Beach um, and they're working with one of the big brokerage firms. Yeah. It seems to me, and I'm not trying to pick on the big brokerage firms, yeah. but they do a very cookie cutter type of a software program sure. and they're almost identical every time. And it's just, it's just not what we're all about. So that said, how can this happen? Well, first I need to tell you that I spent the first 18 years of my career working for the big Wall Street brokerage firms. You've really seen all of this firsthand. I've seen it all. Yeah. And I loved it, by the way. I learned so much, but I also learned what not to do okay. when it came to investing people's money. And what I found was that comprehensive financial planning it's not a top priority for most of these big brokerage firms. Okay. They're much more focused on products because they generate revenue. And we're the complete opposite. The problem is, is that when someone gets advice from a financial advisor with the bigger firms, the advice stops after the financial product is sold. Okay. For us, yeah. that's when the magic happens. We like to take the products that are out in the marketplace today and figure out different ways to make them more tax efficient. That's bringing value to the table. And in my humble opinion, I really do believe that's what really separates us from the big brokerage firms. I, I think it's really interesting to hear that coming from you because this really is based on firsthand experience. Absolutely. And knowledge of the industry itself. Okay, let's talk about the water cooler for a second. I think so many people say, 
that's what my friends are doing. That's what my neighbors are doing. My neighbors, you know, implemented this when it comes to their retirement plan. I think that's a good fit for us too. Why might it not be? Yeah, so just like anything else in life, no two comprehensive financial plans should be exactly the same. Yeah. For instance, your friend at the water cooler may spend money like a drunken sailor, right? So their <laughs> expenses are gonna be much higher than yours are, which means the income that they're gonna need is gonna be much higher. You may okay. not need as much income, but you may care more about passing as much assets in a tax efficient way down to your beneficiaries as possible. So every plan needs to be created from scratch. How often do you all meet with people for the first time who are really unaware of the tools and options that are available to them? Unfortunately, more than we would like to. Yeah. A lot of times it happens when a client comes to us after working with an advisor, from one of the big brokerage firms. As independent financial advisors, we're not restricted or encouraged to show the products of just one firm. Yeah. They come to us, they don't even know some of the products that are available to them because they only know the products that are available at the big brokerage firms. So it's true. Our client's best interest always comes first. Really important information and guidance, and I so appreciate how good you all are at really breaking this down. More on this in just a moment, but first for you at home, if you wanna learn more about making the right calls for retirement, L3 Family Wealth Partners has a great offer for you. Right now, for the first five callers with a portfolio of $500,000 or greater, they're offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. This will allow their team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. The number to call right now, 561-933-6877. Once again, that number, 561-933-6877. Even having just spent a little bit of time with you guys, I think your family dynamic is very, very clear. I want to talk about how working together as a family practice and business has helped your clients, in your opinion. Well, Mallory, I could spend the next half an hour just addressing this one question. Yeah. But for the sake of time, okay. I'll be brief. Done. <laughs> First off, my two sons have brought a tremendous amount of knowledge to the practice yeah. when it comes to technology. I'm the worst. <laughs> but because- Accurate? Very accurate. Sorry to interrupt. She's really you should okay. see his email inbox. <laughs> they hear me say, David, Dylan, 500 times a day just for my emails. But the point is, because of that knowledge and yeah. that technology that they bring to the practice, we've become so much more efficient as a firm. So now we have so much more time available to spend with our clients, which is what we love to do, servicing the client, not doing all the other things. So I just feel very, very blessed in that way. Secondly, these guys are a little humble, but yeah. they put together our own comprehensive financial planning software program. No one else has it. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, it is. And we're, we use it exclusively now, don't you agree? Yeah, we use it exclusively, and it's not just some cookie cutter software where you're putting in different inputs and you okay. see what the report spits out. It's very customized, it's very manual, and it's different for every single client that comes in our office. Absolutely, and I'll tell you the truth, in South Florida, there's a lot of so-called financial advisors out there. Yeah. Our comprehensive financial planning program that they created is what really separates us from everyone else. I think that's really interesting, yeah. And it's definitely easy for the clients to understand as well. It, which is so important. It's a great point. Right, because we do have so many people at varying stages, right? Oh my goodness, when we bring a client into our <laughs> office, we have a gigantic television screen. Yeah. They literally walk up to the screen and start pointing to it because of all the different numbers that we have wow. and the way Dylan explains things and the way David talks, the numbers kind of pop out and tell a story. The time the client leaves, we have to clean off the TV screen because there's like 500 fingerprints all over it. Am I right? You're telling oh, the yeah. truth, yeah. yeah. Which one of you cleans the screen? I'm just kidding. All right, I do want to talk about your, your slogan. Um, from our family to yours is your slogan. What does that mean? Well, I can say that, for me anyway, Yeah. Our family to yours means that we are so lucky that we are a family unit. Yeah. And again, my wife, Molly, she's also with the firm. She basically runs the office for the past 30 years. So we are truly a family business. So the slogan from our family to yours is literal. It's our family helping other families. 
When an individual client retires and comes into our office, and I'm sure you'll agree with this, we encourage them to bring all their family members with wow. because it's a family situation. Yeah. So we've been very successful with that, and I cannot tell you how many times clients have introduced these guys to their children, even their grandchildren, wow. and then they have become clients as well. So from our family to your family, it's a literal slogan. I think that's very, very telling about who you all are. Um, Mark, you're not going anywhere, but it must be comforting to your clients to know that when you do choose to retire, there's a plan in place. Let's talk about that. Well, we're financial planners. Yes. So we plan for everything, and succession planning is part of that. It matters. Yeah. It matters. Look, we have a lot of business clients and we put succession planning inside the financial planning programs because they're in those situations and we practice what we preach. One day, many, many, many years from now, I may retire, but most importantly- I'll never retire. Uh, so I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> Let's just say one day maybe I'll slow down. Yeah. But most importantly, on a client's perspective, we wanna make sure that that is a seamless and smooth transition. You know, it's very interesting. We were talking about this last evening. The average age for a financial advisor in South Florida yeah. is 70 years old. Wow. You know what their succession plan is? To there basically is yeah. sell their practice to another financial advisor. A stranger. He has no idea about the client's goals, client's dreams, the client's aspirations. So from the client's perspective, they're starting all over again. There is never a time that one of these two gentlemen is not sitting next to me in every single client meeting. Mm -hmm. They're either typing away on their laptops, they're asking questions, they're taking notes, but they know as much about our client base as I do. So when the time comes for Papa <laughs> Bear to retire, it should be a very smooth transition for the client, and that's really what it's all about. Mark, all of this being said, you have something very special for our viewers who are watching at home. Yes, I do. So for the first five callers that have saved $500,000 or more for retirement, we would like to invite them into our office and we will sit down with them personally and help them create their own retirement plan. And Mallory, we're gonna do that on a complimentary basis. And that really is an opportunity that should not be missed. Once again, for you at home, if you wanna get your retirement in order, L3 Family Wealth Partners has a great offer for you. Right now, for the first five callers with a portfolio of $500,000 or greater, they're offering a complimentary full-blown retirement plan just for you. This will allow their team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a roadmap analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to really get ready for a successful retirement. The number to call right now, 561-933-6877. Once again, that number, 561-933-6877. Thanks for watching the Finance Report. We'll see you back here next time.